Good morning and happy Christmas Eve day. It is, what time is it? It's got to be just after 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time <coughs> here in Michigan. I uh, zonked out last night and woke up at like 4.45 and we're, now we're here. So get this done so it doesn't inconvenience my wife and my children can just spend the whole day with them. So we're doing a red and green challenge today. And before we get to the red and green, or specifically the green, I am doing my first ever side-by-side -side razor comparison. So on loan, I have a Gillette Rocket made in England and a Gillette Rocket HD also made in England. Uh, I don't know 100% what the difference is, and I hope I got those right. I think the gold, Goldie here is the HD, and this is the OG. So, they're doing that, and uh, I haven't used either of those yet, so I'm excited for that first. And speaking of first that I'm exciting for, we have the green of the challenge, which is a very generous sample of uh, Parasso Green that I was given by Brian Crook. Oops, Brian from the Wet Shave Experience. Sorry, Brian. I think everyone knows your last name, though, since you post under it. Um, and yeah, so we're going to use that. And then, to keep uh, keep the theme going on red, we're going to use some Red Planet from PAA, uh, which is definitely a fall and cold weather scent, and I'm pretty sure, I know there's frankincense, and I'm pretty sure there's myrrh in it, so it's very Christmassy, so it works. Uh, we do have cane but we're saving cane for the post-Christmas shave. Um, yeah. And as much as I'd like to say that I had uh, a red brush, I do have a red brush, but I'm putting it in my stocking tonight for appearances, and that is the new or my new PAA Amber Air Light, so we're sticking with the Yaki Badger just for now, just because we're gonna be doing a face lather here with the, uh, with the cream. So I'm gonna get everything going, and I'll be back when we're ready to get to, uh, to shave. All right, so Brian was kind enough to give me a massive bag of samples. In fact, let me. I'm gonna start implementing what's called a look at all that a sample Sunday here, pretty quick, where I use either a sample of soap or aftershave or both, like I'm doing today. But anyways. Today's not Sunday, so it's not technically sample Sunday. Let's go. use a lot of creams either on the channel or in general mm. and yeah I'm still digging the red scent over the green I put a a red gift in on my Christmas list but we'll see that's the that would be the uh, the pre-shave the cream that and the splash in a tin and I'm planning to keep Loose razors in the tin, if, if and when I get it. I might just buy it for myself after Christmas, if I don't get it. Poor Christmas. The green is good, you can definitely feel the menthol a bit in it. Definitely not in a bad way. It's not... There's just enough there for like a tingly sensation. My face isn't like numb or anything. This fresh eucalyptus <clears throat> scent. Definitely uh, wake you up a bit. I wouldn't recommend using this stuff for night shaves. All right. So one side we're gonna do the HD. I said we're going to do the OG. Uh, the only blades I have enough of on hand that I felt comfortable 
or comfortable that I felt like, I don't say wasting, but using for this challenge were uh, silver blues. So silver, silver and gold, right? We're good. <coughs> Let's get it. Hope you're all ready for Christmas by now. My goal is to get this video out on Christmas Eve. I don't expect a lot of action from it. <clears throat> I do plan on challenging. <coughs> mm. That's all me and not the eucalyptus or the menthol, don't worry. Got a bit of a tickle today, of course. Merry Christmas. Um, Challenging some folks, specifically gonna probably challenge Brian from the Wet Shave Experience, Fayez, and Scott Grimsman, and the other Grimsman, John, and Christian, if they want to finally get off their asses. Oh, look, I already switched sides. Gotta pay attention here. Let me relather. Just out of habit, you know? I'm all over the place. That's how you shave with ADHD. So let's <coughs> finish the right side here then. I get to talking and everything goes to shit. So very Smooth shave thus far. I can tell you that much. All right, HD, let's see what you got. Okay, so I'll start another cyber insincerity. Got that part of my cheek with the other one. Hmm. They are different. This has slightly more blade feel, I think. Which means I like this one better off the bat. <coughs> Come on, boys, you only gotta hold out for one video. Oh yeah. It's got like just enough, well, I like a little more blade feel probably, but it's got more blade feel than the, the regular rocket. Stay in your lane, HD, come on. Yeah, so for also green. Oh. Oh, I'm mad it was a shadow. I thought I got myself. I don't want to jinx myself, but <clears throat> apparently I do. Um, I'm going to shave video streak of no cuts right now. It may only be one video, but I'm going to count it. Anyways, for also green. I get it, but I definitely prefer the sandalwood in the red. So I'm glad that I didn't put the green on my list. Now I know that the aftershave is supposed to smell different than the soap. I don't have a sample of the aftershave, but I do have both the soap and splash sample of PAA's um, awesome sauce now in, in my possession. So one of my sample Sundays, I'll be using those together to get more of a feel for that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, I hope everyone's geared up to have a nice holiday, whether you're celebrating Christmas or whatever you're doing. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you celebrate something else, happy, merry, joyous, whatever else you celebrate. 
I just hope everyone gets to be safe and enjoy their families and all that stuff. That's all that matters this time of year to me. Not what's on the Starbucks cup. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What was I gonna tell you that I did last night? Oh, I got a haircut yesterday, if you didn't notice that. Uh, I had a video about my haircut experience. I'm still searching for a new barber. I don't think I found the one yesterday. They did a good job. I just didn't really mesh with them. And when you plan to spend as much time in their chair as I do, that's important to me. So, <clears throat> so I have one where I mesh with the person, but I didn't like their haircut. And now I have one where the haircut was good, but I didn't really match with the person, so. The saga continues. All right, so. I mean, if you got time, let's go three passes, why not? Get it done. So if you watch all my videos, and if you do, bless you. Uh, and also, before I forget, thank you to my new subscribers. I've got about 11 new subscribers in the last week. I did announce that I'm doing a giveaway. Uh, granted, it's geared more towards my hair interested people at this time, but I do plan on doing a shave one after the holidays. I don't know what it's gonna look like just yet, so I don't wanna make any promises about what it'll be, but I'll try to make it worth your while. Yeah, the HD is just more me, because I love a good red tip for one. So I like <clears throat> a slightly more aggressive feeling vintage razor. I'm actually looking at procuring a uh, German style or German made open cove <clears throat> some sort of quality after the holidays. I don't use a lot of open comb, but neck is a sensitive region, so we're gonna go easy on it. I don't wanna look really bad for my inevitable pajama Christmas picture that's coming here. All right. Yeah, so so far, the HD's winning in terms of how it feels. Slickness is just really good on Parasso. I hope Santa brings me my tin. Yeah, if I were gonna bring my last father-in-law into the shave world, I would definitely do Parasso green. <clears throat> Dude is a barbasol and a can guy thought about getting him a bottle of CAD Splash from PAA. But my wife thinks that I'm just forcing everybody into to shaving, so I didn't. So he's gonna have a lame Christmas, what can I say? But he also has a big beard going right now. 
And I don't think he's ready to start shaving his head, although he's getting close to it. Um, I think we're gonna just do a victory lap here with the HD. Um, I mean, it's for me, it's one out here, so let's do it. <clears throat> yeah, that might be going on the get list. Scott, we're gonna talk. You gotta get me an HD. I've used a handful of British Gillettes lately. And none of them have replaced my love for the red tip, but damn, the Brits could make a good Gillette. The aristocrat. I got a British tech sitting over here I need to use too. I was gonna do a challenge of the Tex-Mex versus the British tech, but the British tech might need to go home before then. And if that happens, then I'll do a different tech attack video. Well, that's just certain drag. All right. like a diagonal pass here but I'm trying to keep it legit for you guys and girls and everything in between Feels good. Alright. Oh. Can't keep it that. Can't keep it that legit or I'm gonna get messed up, so. Yeah, it's got really good weight. It's good length and everything. It's not too stubby. The handle is a good thickness. This good got great knurling on it. Like it's smooth knurling, but it's it's not going anywhere. It's not like super aggressive knurling. Ah yeah, man. Oh man. <coughs> I'm gonna hit that the chin one more time. So I don't end up with my shaggy look. But y'all don't need to see that. I'll be back when I'm ready to post. And we're back. And as you can see in my hubris, I did give myself a little bit of a nick. What are you gonna do, right? Okay, so I'll get some Red Planet going here real quick. And we'll talk about Final thoughts on these razors. Mm. <coughs> yeah. I mean, the results are very similar. I know I did like a victory lap with the the HD, but I think you you probably you know what I used like all of this up. For, for, let me just finish it off. Yeah, that was a good one. 
definitely. Yeah, I gotta start bringing the iPad in every time so I can do the notes, but definitely a crowd pleaser, nothing sharp. You get the woodiness. I don't wanna say it's old manish, but it's definitely got that vintage vibe to it. It's good stuff. It's definitely good stuff. Not my favorite from PAA. But it's good. All right, so anyways, the Razors, the Rocket, the Rocket HD. Very good Razor. And watch me have this wrong and have this not be the HD. But all I gotta say is the HD must stand for hot damn because I really enjoyed this quite a bit. So, big fan. And like I said, if I got this wrong and this is the HD and this is the regular Rocket, then Oh well, but I'm pretty confident. It's just too early for me to bug the person that let me borrow this. So, if you made it through the whole video, good for you. Good job, thank you. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, if you would go ahead and do that for me. You made it this far, you owe, you owe me that much, right? You had to stop me, we owe each other that. You had to suffer through this. I hope you all have amazing holidays that are safe and full of family. Okay.